Good day. Welcome to King Mama's Everything. Today we got a floodlight, and it's an LED floodlight. And this was just a cheap old one that I'd gotten at uh, Harbor Freight for like $5 or something like that. Didn't come with the LED. I'd put that in myself. And this was probably, you know, about seven, eight years ago. So the LED in here was Mac Daddy High Tech. Out light output, not so good. I'm going to say maybe 300, 400 lumen. So just a little bit of light output. So going from a 250 watt halogen to 300 lumen LED, you're going to save wads of power and get itty bitty, just an itty bitty light. So basically unusable, unusable. So technology has changed. They still sell these, but I think they had some higher power ones with some more LEDs. But this one, I mean, it puts out light. I'm going to show you the light. Let me show you the light first. Let's see if we get this kind of, you might want to shine, cover your eyes, guys. So let it kind of focus on that. And so you can kind of see, um, puts out a little bit of light. I mean, it'll light something up. Uh, but maybe if we're working on a car, you know, not so much. This is like probably about, uh, 4,300 Kelvin, Kelvin, something like that. So it's got a nice, uh, yellowy glow to it, but not that good. Not that good of a light. So let me get this out of your little eyes. I got a new one and I got this on eBay, but they sell them in other places and you can see it's very descriptive. Oh, here's the description. Um, R7S. 80 SMD, so 80 uh, little LEDs, 5733. Dimmable, ta-da, and that's what I wanted. This one uh, does not dim. The one I'm actually going to put it as a big floodlight on the tree. And I want to try one out before I bought a whole bunch of these and see if it's worthwhile, because I can't remember if, how many lumen this was. I think it was like 2,000, 1,500, something like that. Quite, quite a lot of lumen compared to that thing, which looks cool. Not so cool. So let's open it up. Let's take a look and see what's inside it. Ta-da! And you can see it's uh, 360 LED, so this one will be using the reflector to shine some light back. Uh, where this one, the LEDs are just on the front, they shoot out at you. But this one, uh, it's 360, so the reflector is probably going to reflect some of the light back. So I'm hoping that this is a little bit better. And I think it said 80 LEDs versus, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... So seven times one, two, four, six. Uh, so forty-two LEDs, eighty LEDs, and these obviously are a little more modern than the square ones. And uh, we're gonna give this sucker a test. And this was like five dollars. And this actually, no, you know, I don't think this came from eBay. I think it came from China. But they do sell them out at China. What's neat about this one? It's actually enclosed, so you can well, it's on. You can grab it without getting shocked. Uh, not that you're gonna do that, but I guess you could if you want to leave off the glass. You could leave off the glass if you wanted to. Uh, not have to worry about getting burnt to a crisp. But that's the thing I hate about the halogens. You know, you got the 250 watts, 500 watts, and you get burnt if you touch it. And it puts out a lot of heat, especially if you're working in a hot garage or hot area. You got a blazing hot 500 watt uh, halogen bulb heating you up and burning you. Makes me sad. Makes you sad, too. So I'm thinking this. I'm hoping it's going to be better than that. It's got to be better than that. That sucks. So tell, let me grab a screwdriver and let's open it up, swap it out, give it a try. Mr. Screwdriver. You can tell it's even the, the uh, screw is the cheapest uh, thing imaginable because it ruins the head just by taking the screw out. But we should get a, a few more uses out of that before she gets stripped. Yeah, I guess the, the other advantage of having the uh, LED, you know, the halogens are more delicate, so if you pound them around, you can. Uh, damage the halogen bulb and had to put a new bulb in and you have to be careful when you put them in because you get your little greasy fingers on them it makes little hot spots and that's bad but this even though the LEDs do put out a bit of heat they're nowhere near what uh, these suckers do you can see this has a really it's a, it's a nice design it's got it's pretty heavy duty you know this is probably the heat sink part of it if these are actually touching anywhere but I'm thinking this much nicer. Smaller, nicer. Let's see. Eh, they weigh about the same. And these are sevens, just kind of, they're a little springy. You get the springies on there. And that's it. That's been replaced. Let's put the cover back on. Yeah, I've always digged the uh, LEDs when they came out, and uh, it took them quite a while to get to where it's uh, 
It's actually pretty good and affordable, but uh, we're getting there. Let's see. I think, what are you doing, Bell? I think Bell wants to help. You gonna, you gonna get in the frame? Here, you wanna come here? There you go, Bell. So we got to now we gotta help her. That's Bell's behind. Let me get Bell out of the way. Back. Had a little bit of dog interference, but I'm hoping she'll stay over there while we finish this up. I'm gonna point this away just in case she's kind of bright. Let's see. The other thing I have to do is since this is the cheapest uh, floodlight you can buy, it has the cheapest let's see button on it too. It's got a polarity. It probably has a polarity. Okay, let me do this. Let me flip it around. I didn't think these had a polarity, but they may. At least this one didn't. Okay, let me try one more time. Maybe I got a bad bulb. I don't know. Wait, where my where my uh, thing go? Here it is. Uh, so let's. Give this another stab. Probably should have left the cover off before I put the bolt in. There we go, baby. Come to Papa. There. All right. Do we have it on there? Oh, I don't think we even had it in there. I don't think there's a negative or a positive. I think it's either one way or the other. It doesn't really matter. But it could be. I just did not have it in the little, in the little clips. There we go. That's better. Now let's try this. Let's try this one more time. Oh. Come on, Mr. Switch. I have to put a new switch on this. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, quite a bit brighter. A nice, uh, I think this is like a 5,000, 6,000 Kevin. Looks like more of a 6,000's kind of got a slight, uh, it's very white. You just see a slight blue to it. Let's see if we can get some, uh, how much light she puts out at the wall here. Oops. Let's see, that's way better. Definitely not no 1500 uh, lumen, but all that uh, stuff is always way, way overrated. She's in there really well. So I guess it's not too bad for a couple bucks. It's probably acceptable. I mean, what we'll do, let's turn the light off and see how she does. Mm, somewhat disappointing. Yeah, that is quite low. I don't know if the switch is messed up too. I don't know, we'll say maybe 800 lumen, something like that. Uh, it's got a nice color. I think that might work in a darker area, but a little disappointing for what it is. And uh, especially for a... Let me get this out of your face. There we go. I guess they really didn't say how many lumen this really is. Just dimmable, white. Hmm. I don't know. I guess it's acceptable. Probably if it didn't have the plastic on it. it seems like that's kind of diffusing the light a little bit. But I think all in all, that will do the trick. Uh, it's always a gamble when you're buying stuff off eBay or uh, from China, especially LEDs, because uh, you know they're not UL listed. They're not anything. You know, they're just probably some of the most unsafe things you can possibly buy that could cause a fire and bring your house to the ground. Uh, like this guy here, this is basically going to be, you know, like a shop light working on stuff, you know, so it's not going to be on all the time, but I guess maybe it's a little brighter now. It just took a little while to warm up. Um, you know, you get what you pay for. I've always liked LEDs and this is definitely better than this fellow. So definitely a huge improvement. At least this guy will be usable now. So... 
Uh, let's see if I can, maybe I'll put a link somewhere in there. Let me get this out of the way. Ah, it's blinded me. It's not bad. But uh, I'll put a link in there, kind of showing you what this what this was. And so if you're interested in that, uh, definitely if you're going to upgrade from a 500, 250 watt halogen to this, you're going to be sad. A little sad. I mean, it's usable. It's usable. Uh, but it's definitely no halogen bulb. And <clears throat> that's what we got, I guess. But uh, definitely not a halogen bulb. Usable. It's got a nice white light. It's not giving off any heat that I can detect through the glass. Uh, much better than this fellow. So, I mean, if you're looking to upgrade from a halogen to an LED, uh, it might be worth it. It's fairly inexpensive, but you're not going to get the light output. Uh, I'm going to say this is probably 800, maybe 800 lumen. Not a lot of light, but it's good enough. I mean, especially if it's dark, probably under a hood it might be okay. But if you want like really, 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 really blinding bright, probably not for you but you know it's your call you know if you want to spend six seven bucks on an led bulb that's going to last a long time hopefully last a long time and you don't want the heat and getting burnt and all that crap good way to go so i hope you that's you enjoy the video and you have a great day